from Country Diggers here. Today, me and my friends, Angela and Tara, spent the day with Kay from Kay's Digging It. She come all the way from Texas to uh, see Brandon from Alabama Dirt Digger. She spent the day digging with him and then come up and seen us today and we spent some time at antique stores. We were going to go digging today, but it had been raining and muddy and we were going to the river and uh, we decided not to do that because we have had bad luck when it's raining and going to the river. Because one of us uh, actually falls in all the time. Just about all the time. One of us. I'm not saying which one. Mommy. <laughs> I'm not saying which one falls in the river. Mm. Uh-uh. No way. But anyway, we had a good time. And I hope uh, Kay did too. I hope she had a good time. And I'm going to... Um, I did a video at the antique store. I took pictures and um, also uh, bought a few things and I'll show you what I bought at the end of the video. All right, y'all, enjoy. We are at an antique store and there's Tara. Hi. We got Tara. We got Kay from Kay's Digging It. And we got Angela. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right, y'all, we're gonna do some antiques. Check that out. It's wooden. It's a bird cage, wow. You a fancy bird. Mm. That, that's a uh, drug thing. A drug? It says, uh, yeah. Uh, ship surgeon. HMS Hercules. Oh. Dr. P. Horn. Oh, that, and it says Plymouth down on the bottom. And it's got a place for records and drugs. Uh, that is me. Cash register. Hires root beer. Barrel. Huh? Oh. Alright, we're in the taxidermy section. Look at that. That is cool. Wolf. That's a big one. Oh, I like that. It is, the wolf is $2,595, but it's 40% off. No, too much money. There's an old longhorn. All oh, this stuff is cool. This guy says this is from, it's an operating table. U.S. Army operating table, and it's, he said that it's from, like, World War II. Never been out of the box. Cool. I like that. But, uh, yeah. No. <laughs> Six dollars for that Jack Daniels. I think it's 42.95 United States Marines. And it looks like a baby, a baby jacket, baby helmet. That would have been, that would be cool if from 42. All right, y'all. All right, we got an old Remington noiseless portable typewriter. Cool. There's an old sled. Hmm. Right there, iron spear hay fork. Wow. Some cars. Oh, 
Toys. Toys. Bottles. Let's see what they have here. Right, Y'all check it out. These old signs and everything. Old matchboxes in here. Old signs and license plates. <laughs> Adult supervision is required at all times. That's what we need, adult supervision. <laughs> I love all these old signs. I gotta get where the cheaper stuff is. Cause these are like expensive. I'm a cheap person. I gotta get where the cheap is. Oh look at all the marbles in that bubblegum machine. Be. Oh, here it is. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have that, but no. Okay, here's some more marbles. Let's see. How much is that? $69 full of shoes. Okay. Oh, I thought this was a cheap place. It's not cheap. We, we are a state that likes people. Alabama loves people, okay? <laughs> and there he is shooting a bird at us. Right. Sasquatch Division Department of Agriculture. film in here y'all they hadn't got music going yet so that's a good thing they won't slap a copyright on me youtube won't all right driftwood i mean you can go out and find that you don't have to buy it <laughs> There's me. Let's check this one out. Bobby Sherman. I don't know who he is. They got some nice little knickknacks in this one. Rules of the Tavern. Four pence a night for bed, six pence with supper. No more than five to sleep in one bed. No boots to be worn in bed. Organ grinders to sleep in the wash house. Uh, no dogs allowed upstairs. No beer allowed up in the kitchen. <laughs> no razor grinders or tinkers taken in. Coca-Cola. There's another one. Notice to thieves, thugs, bears, and bunco stealers, among whom are, okay, um, <clears throat> says, among who are J.J. Hallen, alias Off Wheeler, Saul Dust, Charlie, William Hedges, Billy the Kid, Billy Mullen, Little Jack, The Cutter, 
pockmarked kid and about 20 others. If found within the limits of this city after 10 o'clock p.m. this night, you will be invited to attend a grand necktie party, <laughs> the expense of which will be borne by a hundred substantial citizens. Las Vegas, March 24, 1882. Pretty cool. Stagecoach. Wonder how much that is. I don't see a price on it anywhere. Okay, everybody. I think I have lost those people I was with, or they have lost me one. Because I have no idea where they went. They're in here somewhere, I know. They're just hiding from me. But these are so neat. All right. Look at all that. Don't you wish you could just take all this home? And there's an old school phone. There's an old try me coat bottle. It's from, looks like it says Birmingham. I've been wanting to dig one of these forever, but um, every time I think I'm gonna get one, it's broke. I just wanna dig one. I don't wanna buy one, I wanna dig it, but they're, these are hard to come by if they're broke, you know. But anyway, this is a good part. Look at all that. Cigar, cigar boxes. Oh, I want some more marbles, but y'all, I thought this was a cheap store. It used to be cheap. They used to have cheap stuff, but they don't anymore. <laughs> All right, let me get some stuff right here. Oops, don't want nothing down, <laughs> cause this ain't cheap. That so low. Look, there's an old telephone thing right there. That's cool. Okay, let's see if we can squeeze through here without breaking any. Oh, I like that. Look at that. That's like $65. That would be cool if it wasn't $65. I would get that if it wasn't $65. But let's see if anything else is in here. 50 shades of gray. Like, well, okay, I'm not getting that for sure. <laughs> All right, let's see. Looks like they have some goodies in here. Let me check that out. My grandma had one of, one of these in her house. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if it's still in there or not. But she had one of these in her house. Got some cool stuff right in here. Bottles. You know I love my bottles. But you can dig them cheaper than you can buy them, seems like. Because it don't cost nothing to dig. I just got a, a text from Kay. She's on the third floor, and she's found some marbles. I'm going to head up that way in a few minutes after I get finished looking at the second floor. I know $5 is probably not 
a very good price for these. But uh, I collect cards, like history cards and stuff, so I'm gonna get them. Yeah. All right, we got more taxidermy stuff. just been informed everybody is at the front door so I guess they want me to come on but it's hard to leave these things all right pretty cool oh look at that I like that Hey y'all, I'm back. Here's what I bought, I bought at the antique store. I'll show you. All right, y'all. I bought this at the antique store right here. Oh, Tara, give me this right here. It's a birdhouse. It's a treasure box birdhouse. She made it. And let me show you. Hold on. Okay. Let me show you. She, um made it out of um vintage old vintage um door handles and um door handles and pulls right in here um cabinet pulls like that and it comes apart like that the top comes off and da da. But I, instead of a birdhouse, I'm going to use it for a treasure box because that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> I know it's a birdhouse, but I'm going to use it for a treasure box because it's neat like that. Thank you, Tara. And also, okay, for the uh, antique finds. I got these cards, um, flags of the Civil War card game. Um, they're not old or anything, but uh, they were $5. I got them for $5 and I looked online. I thought they were a little bit um, high for, for cards, but <clears throat> online they're like $11. So I got a good deal there. And, um, uh, also, I got this cap rifle right here, cap gun rifle. It's a 17, it's a 1960s, 1776 Freedom Rifle from Paris, uh, Savannah, Tennessee. And there's the serial number right there. And it's a 1960s. And it's pretty cool. I like it. I like that. Okay. We'll put that right there for now. And I got some uh, replica copy um, Confederate money. Uh, this is um, vintage, I guess. I can't find, I know that um, it's replica and it says copy up in the corners of it right there. So I know it's not real, but uh, I don't exactly know how old it is. But that was an, a Richmond one for 50 cents. I think that's supposed to be 50 cents. This one is Alabama and that was the governor of Alabama and at the time and um, but that one's a copy too right in there and that's a one dollar and then I got one right here that says the state of Georgia fifty dollars and that's a replica too it's got the copy somewhere up here 
right in there. But anyway, I thought they were neat, so I bought them. And uh, I got other few knickknacks and things that um, <clears throat> just, I got a pair of tennis shoes and for me, just a couple of picture frames that I got these for like $2.99, okay? And I'm going to, they're picture frames, and I'm going to use them for display cases. So, I got them. And that's about it. I got two books. Uh, romance books, of course. <laughs> but one time travel. One time travel romance. Let me show you. I got Only with a Highlander. And that's a time travel romance. Only with the Highlander. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pretend like it's Jamie Fraser from Outlander, okay? And I'm going to pretend I'm the heroine in it and he's the hero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I got me a... a play dead right here okay that's a mystery i'm play dead but um i got them two books <laughs> but this one's gonna be my favorite okay only with the highlander <laughs> okay y'all we're being uh, we have been silly all day long okay but anyway hope y'all enjoy the video and we had a good day with Kay and tara and angela we had just a terrific day. Hope y'all enjoy. See you back soon. Bye. <laughs>